Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a Half Show. <laughs> Okay, how does this pertain to today's video? Um, we're going to be talking about COPPA. And, you know, when it comes to nature experience, because that's what these are, um, from previous videos, you're probably tired of me talking about na nature spirits. But, you know, I explain how they come in many shapes and sizes, personalities, temperament, and energetic vibrations or frequencies. This rings true about the spirit I will be talking about in this video. And so like, okay, about eight months ago, I had an experience with a kappa from doing a reading for somebody. And because I have a love for other cultures, because if you didn't know, it has to do with like Japanese culture. So I wanted to learn about more about these and so we are gonna learn together like shamalama lama ga ding da ding dong but they are popular in Japanese folklore. <laughs> okay, so what is a kappa? They are water dwelling spirits with a mixed bag of temperaments, which means you can get some good ones, you can get some bad ones, you can get some neutral ones, and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, they are a type of nature spirit that specifically protects bodies of water, such as, such as rivers and lakes. In this role, they are considered as guardians who maintain the balance and purity of the water sources in addition to the aquatic ecosystem and ensure the well-being of the environment. One way they do this is by teaching respect about those things in some shape or form. I don't know about y'all, but like when I was a kid, my parents always emphasized the dangers of water and to always, always be careful with it and never turn your back towards it. So it is often their mischievous behavior that serves as that reminder and to be mindful of potential risks which in turn also teaches others to live in harmony with nature. From my personal experience, it looked like a mix between a small three to four foot like human and a turtle with webbed hands and feet stood upright like a human and had a beak for a mouth. And it also was greenish brown with skin of a turtle and turtle like eyes. So like you have different species of turtles, you have different species of kappa with some physical characteristic differences. So habitat. They like to exist around bodies of water because, you know, the whole turtle thing. More fresh water areas such as lakes and rivers they are associated with Japan and specific regions within that country such as the Kappa River in Tono, Iwate Prefecture. However, these spirits existed before they were identified by Japanese cultures. Actually, the experience I had, um, I was not in Japan and the client I had been talking to it lives in the United States. So they can exist pretty much anywhere with those bodies of water. For some spirits and entities, different cultures um, pointed out their existence and adapted them into their own culture. The Japanese are very spiritual and have an appreciation and respect for nature, which is why they were able to identify them. In other cultures, the Kappas exist, but under a different name, typically being considered as water spirits, water deities, water nymphs, elementals, etc. So, you know, 
they have a bunch of different names and things. For behavior, when it comes to their behavior, they can be childish, mischievous, playful, etc. But at the same time, they can be polite and respectful, especially when given offerings and nice gestures. This is why I consider them to be more of a mixed bag because, you know, um, their attitude is all over the place, really. And on the neutral end of things. So you have some malevolent ones, like I said before, that have drowned people. And a lot of the tales have to do with drowning people. But the whole point of the tales is to teach people to be respectful of the environment in which they are living in. And then you have ones that want to be helpful and, you know, leave little gifts and things. So my experience, so without going too much into detail because of the client's, you know, privacy, when I was looking into their case, I kept seeing a river near their property and I kept seeing this creepy head of some sort, just like, it would be like the water and it would be like, they'd go whoop and they would just be creepy and staring, you know, out of the water. And I'm just like, what's going on? Why are you being so creepy? Like, I don't like that. But I just remember seeing the um, creepy golden eyes staring at me. And so I asked my guides, I'm like, what's that? What's going on? And, you know, they showed me, like, what it was. Because sometimes, like, you'll have entities that, because it's kind of like hiding in the water, you can't see exactly what it is. So, like, my, my spirit guides will show me an image of it clairvoyantly and they'll just be like, boop, reference, that's what it is. And yeah, they showed me that it was a kappa and I'm like, oh, okay. And yeah, very turtle-like and humanoid shaped as I stated previously. And um, it was a forest green color. And you know, as I was recalling the information, cause you know, I write all my stuff down, like when I do these videos to get my thoughts clear because I can go on my tangents Nobody wants to listen to a, a tangent for like five minutes, so. But as I was writing my notes, you know, um, I was recalling the information of that spirit being able to fluctuate in color. So I don't know if anyone's ever had like a tree frog as a pet. I had one, I it, sur it survived for like seven years. That thing lived a long time for a frog. Well, frogs can live long depending on the type, but if you've ever had any like amphibians or reptiles as pets, some of them can change color. It's very slightly, it's not like a chameleon that it's like, bam, blue. No, like f the frogs that I had, like the tree frogs, it was very subtle changes. And it was usually within like the greens and the browns and somewhat gray spectrum of things. And that's what these can do, can do the same thing. And it has to do with like um, molding into its environment or um, blending into its environment so it can't be seen. But I mean, my experience with it was very uneventful because all it did was lurk in the water and stare at me like, I'm going to intimidate you and freak you out. And I'm just like, oh, it's a kappa. Holy crap. I didn't know they existed. Like, I was excited. Like, I am so desensitized, which, you know, might not be a great thing. But when I see some of these entities and, you know, they are something that exists in myths and legends and stuff. And, like, because I follow a bit with the Japanese uh, culture and the folklore and the myths, I got really excited because it was like, oh my god, something that I've been studying is actually real. But yeah, so it was just lurking in the water trying to intimidate me. Um, meanwhile, I'm just standing there like, oh my god, it's so cool. My guide, um, my one guide is like an encyclopedia. So he's just standing there like giving me this animal planet documentary like I don't know how you want to use treatment, if you will, with explaining things, which is kind of funny, actually. I mean, that was pretty much my kappa. I didn't have any other experiences after that. Um, I don't, I don't think I've had any other ones. And it, I know this one's kind of short, but the whole point of this video is to say, hey, they exist. <laughs>
and they're pretty similar to all the other nature spirits that I've talked about so far. And yeah, so, you know, guys, that's pretty much the end of that story. But also, you know, a little bit of information about Cabos, if you were curious or didn't know what they were. So yeah, hopefully you like this video. If you have any thoughts, questions, concerns, leave them down below and I will answer them for you. So again, thank you and peace out. If you guys like learning about entities, I highly recommend watching the video about thought forms, especially because thought forms are one of the most common entities a person will come into contact with.